everyone. Today we're going to read a poem that has lots of umber umbrella birds in it, and I'm going to teach you how to do a big kid thing called highlighting. Are you ready? Here we go. Here's our poem. We're going to read it together, and I will point to all the words, and I'm going to read it a couple of times. You can play this video over and over again if you'd like until you can read the poem all by yourself. Here we go. Uh, uh, put up the umbrella. It's starting to rain. We'll stay underneath it until the sun shines again. I said again a little bit strange because I was making it rhyme with the word rain. So I said again. Let's read it again. Uh, uh, put up the umbrella. It's starting to rain. We'll stay underneath it until the sun shines again. One more time. Uh, uh, put up the umbrella. It's starting to rain. We'll stay underneath it until the sun shines again. All right, so now we're gonna highlight the umbra umbrella birds. To highlight something, you're going to want to use an orange marker or a yellow marker, a light colored marker. I like orange and yellow. I'm gonna use orange today uh, to do my highlighting. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna search for umbra umbrella birds in the poem. So I'm gonna start right here at the top and oh, look, here's a capital um, umber umbrella bird and a lowercase umber umbrella bird. And to highlight them, I'm gonna take my marker and I'm just going to go over the top like this. Now I've highlighted my two umber umbrella birds right up here at the top. Now I'm gonna go down to the next line and I'm gonna find the next umber umbrella bird. Oh. There's one, and I'm gonna take my marker and just go across the umber umbrella bird. Notice I didn't go on the peewee penguin or the Timothy tiger. Next, I'm gonna go over and, oh, look, there's another umber umbrella bird, and I'm going to highlight that one. Gonna keep going till I find another umber, oh, there's an umber umbrella bird, and I'm going to highlight that one. I'm going to keep going until I find another one. No, nope, none in that line. Keep going on this one. Oh, you're right. There's another one right there. I'm going to highlight that umber umbrella bird. Keep going. Ooh, here is a capital umber umbrella bird. I'm going to highlight that one. There we go. Keep going. Oh, oh. Ooh, here's a word that we made with our zoo friends. Let's say the sounds. S-a-n-s-un. Sun. Hey, that's the word sun. We made that with our zoo friends and then now we just read it. Nice work. I'm gonna highlight the umber umbrella bird that's in the middle of the word sun. And keep going, none in that word and none in that word. I have found all the umber umbrella birds in this poem. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight umber umbrella birds. Now that I've found them all and highlighted them and counted them, I'm going to trace them. When I do my tracing, I want to use a dark color, like blue or green or black, or maybe even purple. I'm gonna use blue. So I'm gonna start by putting my pen right on top of the top of this umber umbrella bird and following it around. Then I'm gonna do this one and follow it around, just like when we learned how to write umber umbrella bird. I'm trying my very best to stay right on top of the lines. But if I get off a little bit, that is okay. You can do this as slowly as you want. Remember, I've been writing Umber Umbrella Bird for a very long time, and you're just learning so you can go much slower than me. 
So now I've highlighted all of my Umbra Umbrella Birds, I've counted my Umbra Umbrella Birds, and I've traced all of my Umbra Umbrella Birds. Now that I've done that, I can color this Umbra Umbrella Bird if I'd like to. I could also draw a picture next to some of these words that I know what they are. So this is the word umbrella. So I'm going to draw a little umbrella here next to the word umbrella. There we go. And then down here, this word says rain. Right here it says rain. So I'm going to draw some little raindrops. There we go. And down at the bottom, remember when we read the word sun? So I'm going to draw a little sun right underneath the word sun. There we go. So I kind of decorated my poem. Now I can take this poem and I can read it. I can read it to my mom. I can read it to my kids. I can read it to my brother or my sister. But I can read this poem a whole lot. And I hope you read your poem at home too. See you next time. Bye.